Fear is a part of success. If you're scared, congratulations. Most of the world is playing it safe. Most of the world never fears that, never, never has those worries because they just go get their paycheck, get their job, do the work, do what everybody tells them to do, get their 401k, get their pension, and then drift off into death when they're 85 or 90 years old. They look back and go, wow, I played it safe. Fuck that. With all the opportunities that exist today, why haven't you reached your next level of income, life, and wealth? In most cases, we've been lied to. We've been told that if you find the right opportunity and you work hard, you can be successful. And that's simply not true. Millionaires, billionaires, and successful people have realized you need the foundation for wealth, the habits. And that's exactly what you'll be learning on the Millionaire Success Habits Podcast. All success starts here. If you're not scared, then you're not playing the game of life at the level you need to, to reach the heights and the full potential that you crave. Listen, welcome to the Millionaire Success Habits Podcast. And today I want to talk about fear. I want to talk about being scared. I think there's a, there's a whole, there, people are delusioned about being scared. I think what it feels like is that if success is truly meant for you, if that next level of life, uh, reaching your full potential is truly there, it's like the, the clouds will part, the sun will come down, the, the, the path will be there, you'll feel abundant, you'll feel aligned, you'll feel alive, and then you'll go forward to that level of life that you crave. No, that's not the way it is. You're gonna be scared shitless along the way. Right now, if you're listening to me, I'm sure you're someone that craves another level of life or else you'd be listening to something else or watching something else. So great, you crave it. But you're scared shitless in a couple different ways. You're scared to start the business, scared to maybe someday leave the job, scared to go up against what your parents say, scared to not use your degree that you went to college for, scared you'll run out of money, scared you'll go broke, scared that you'll look like an idiot or a failure or, 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 or it just won't work. Welcome to the world of success. Listen, I, I wanna share a few things with you. When I, I went on TV in 1998 with my first infomercial. About five years of being on TV, I had a company ask me to do live events with them. Now, since they saw me on TV and talking to a camera, like I am right now, they just figured I'd be good on stage. And I guess so did I. Well, they invite me to go to an event. I remember it was in California by the uh, Los Angeles airport. They asked me to go on stage. Before I go on stage, I go completely cotton mouth. I'm scared to death. I'm not kidding you. I was sitting in a chair and my right arm was trembling, like trembling. I, I'm like, I don't even know what to say. I went out there and made such a fool of myself. Everybody said, oh, you did good, Dean. I did not do good. I, I rambled. I was scared. I didn't know what I was doing. I was so scared. It was unbelievable, but I still went out there. And it's not patting myself on the back, but I just knew I had to because I wanted another level. Now, let me fast forward. I, there's a lot of different things I do. I do real estate. I speak on stage. I have high-level masterminds. I, I write books. New York Times bestseller. All, you know a lot of the things I do. I, I'm not someone who's just an influencer. There's a lot of influencers today, and I'm glad if they inspire people. But when it comes to depth, some of them don't really have the depth. They got a couple million followers, but they didn't really run the business. And I'm not knocking them. Just be careful who you take advice from, right? But I'm sharing that because I do a lot of different things, but I'm going to talk about the live event part. So now I, I go out on stage and slowly over the years, I'm doing more and more on stage. I'm getting more comfortable. Then all of a sudden about seven years ago, I start doing an event a month in Las Vegas. And people are paying $20,000 each to be in that room. And there's anywhere from three to 500 people every single month. So I'm going there month after month. I'm getting better, more comfortable. Maybe eight years ago, I'm getting more comfortable. I'm, I'm getting uh, my, my, my time in, my 10,000 hours on stage. And I go from like thinking about what to say and living the experience. And then I start speaking in different places around the world. And all of a sudden, my buddy, Tony Robbins, who I admire, he was, I had like a man crush on Tony Robbins 20 years ago, 25 years ago when he changed my life because I, I bought his course off of TV and it was so amazing. It's one of the reasons I went into this business because of that guy. So now we're buddies and he says, hey, I'm doing these events around the world. You should come. Australia and Japan and China and New Zealand and all these great places. So now... Uh, Tony, uh, uh, I jump on the plane and I fly over to Tokyo and there's 10,000 people in the room and I'm in the back 
and all of a sudden, the same exact thing happened to me. I'm in the back, 10 minutes before I go on, I gotta follow Tony Robbins. He's got the audience doing freaking backflips. They're on fire, they're cheering, and Tony gives me this 10 minute introduction of his buddy and what I do. And I'm back there and I got so anxious that I got like heartburn or something. I can't even, like I ate food and the food literally, I'm just being honest, it felt like it stuck like if you're, if you're like between my throat and my chest. Like if you're watching video, you could see right here. But if you're, list, if you're listening to this audio, it like gets stuck. And then it felt like it expanded and it felt like my chest was, I couldn't, even, I couldn't even take a breath. And then all of a sudden my intro is starting and I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna let Tony down. I, I was so scared, I can't tell you. Now, have I been scared in a million other areas? Yeah, this is scared where it's obvious. I've been scared at two o'clock in the morning when I didn't think I was gonna make it, when I thought I was gonna run out of money, when I thought I exceeded my knowledge, I pushed it too far. I was like, I remember telling myself shitty stories like, hey man, you were a broke kid, you did great, now you're trying to go to this whole nother level, run a hundred million dollar company, you screwed up, you're gonna go broke. Scared to where I'd get stressed and not sleep and sleep two hours a night and be cranky. I mean, I've been scared on many different levels. I'm using the live event one because it's so obvious. Anyway, long story short, on the, uh, we're in Japan, I walk out on stage and like I probably was like a deer in headlights and, and I got through it pretty good. Tony's like, oh, that was great. Uh, here's a couple suggestions, right? And I felt like I was a newbie when I knew how to crush it on stage. I let fear get in the way, but at least I went out there. So now, just give you an example of what fear can do. I broke that fear. I wasn't afraid of it anymore. I didn't die. Tony didn't get mad at me. Our friendship didn't end. We were flying, flying from Tokyo, went to Shanghai. Now there's 18,000 people. It's like a basketball stadium full of people. I land in uh, Shanghai. I go in my room. I'm at the Four Seasons in Shanghai. I shut my door and I don't talk to anybody for two and a half days. I read all the local papers. I go deep. I'm like, no more fear. Screw that. Tony gave me this opportunity. He's the, he, I, I want to show him. And I just went deep and I went deep. The fear was gone and I went on stage in China and crushed it. It was, Tony was like a thousand percent change and I, I knew how to do it. My only point is, I almost, just so you know, when I got off stage in Japan, I almost canceled China. I was like, man, that was terrible. I don't wanna let anybody down. Maybe you should just have someone else do it because fear can be crippling. It's like standing up at the edge of a cliff and you know the water's deep enough, you know you won't die, but still you're afraid to jump. It's that, it's that hesitation right before and you start talking yourself out of it. You go, no, I'm not gonna do it and you walk back rather than jumping and growing wings on the way down, growing confidence on the way down. So I want you to think about this today. Fear is a part of success. If you're scared, congratulations. Most of the world is playing it safe. Most of the world never fears that, never, never has those worries because they just go get their paycheck, get their job, do the work, do what everybody tells them to do, get their 401k, get their pension, and then drift off into death when they're 85 or 90 years old. They look back and go, wow, I played it safe. Fuck that. Fuck that. Yes, I said, excuse my language. Fuck playing safe. I don't want to play safe. I don't want to be 90 years old and look back and say things went okay. I look at now. I lost all my money twice during this roller coaster of being an entrepreneur. Not in a long time, but in my 20s and then again in my 30s. And it was because I was pushing and I was scared, but I went for it. And we know what that did? Being scared and still moving forward built muscle built the, the, the muscle to make it happen. I think we're in this generation now, and I don't mean a bad generation, by no means am I saying, I love where we are as a culture, as a country, as a world. I think we're on the verge of greatness, I truly do. I don't look at what could be wrong, so I don't watch the news. But I look now and I, I think because of social media, we sometimes get delusioned that sex, success can come easier. Success doesn't have to be such a struggle. I'm not saying it has to be a struggle, but you gotta work at it. You will be scared, you will fail, but those who get back up, those who dust themselves off, do, those that learn from those lessons and go valiantly into the storm knowing they already failed are those that come out on the other side a winner. So if you're scared, congratulations. If you have fear, good. Face your fears, face being scared, head into the storm learn from your lessons, keep going, learn from those playing the game at the highest level possible, 
and there's nothing that can stop you. If you like this message, of course, I always say, go to subscribe to dean.com, subscribe to dean.com and help us spread the word. This podcast is growing really fast because of you guys going to subscribe. Take the moment right now and go do it. If you like this message, I'm doing it for you. I don't sell anything on my podcast. I don't have any advertising on my podcast. So if, if you enjoy this, if you appreciate it, then help me with my mission to touch the lives of people who need it. There's so many people out there right now feeling lost, feeling scared, and they don't have hope because they don't have a guiding voice. They have a negative family member telling them they're crazy for their dreams and they're gonna get stuck in a life they hate. One message like this could transform that. So go to subscribe to dean.com and spread the word. Appreciate you guys. Talk to you soon. Listen, if you like the video, make sure you click subscribe right now so you never miss an episode. And while you're there, click the notification bell so you'll know when the next one goes live. You can always follow us on Instagram. And if you don't already have millionaire success habits, you can grab it for free at deansfreebook.com. Remember, all success starts here.